Hello and welcome to another video from PyPad Mathematics. I am Professor Lamb and we're working with an app number pieces and we're going to do a little bit about modeling, adding and subtracting of whole numbers and there, I like this app mainly because you can do you can you can add certain things like this kind of horizontal bar and you can divide the the playing field if you will or the the math field uh, and and help kind of see the numbers that you're trying to uh, add together and, and another neat little thing you can you can pinch in and you can increase your workspace so that uh, when you're working with these numbers uh, and you're working with these models you can model some some fairly large numbers and so I'm going to start off by saying let's model 426 plus 218. So I'm going to model 426 plus 218. And I'm going to kind of narrow the field a little bit. I'm going to move, whoop, let me erase that. I'm going to move this over just a little bit. And above this vertical line, or sorry, horizontal line, I'm going to model 426. And below it, I'm going to model 218 so that the students will be able to see the difference. So I got 400, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 20 and 6. So I have 426 modeled above my horizontal bar, and I have 218 modeled below the, the horizontal bar. All right, and this is where we get into using correct vocabulary. We want our early learners, we want our, our, our beginning math learners to be able to understand the concepts behind the addition of, of, our, of our whole numbers. When I say understand the concepts, that means we need to help them understand the procedure, not so much the procedure, but the concepts behind the procedure. When we are working this problem as adults, we are taking six plus eight and we're saying 14 and we're saying put a four down and carry the one. So we say this language, carry the one, put a four down, but it avoids what the concept is. And here's what the concept is. We, we have six ones sitting above our horizontal line and we have eight ones sitting below it. So what I want to do is I want to take those six and those eight and I want to add them together and when I add them together this app allows you to say how many tens can I make and that little button down at the bottom you click on that button and it does says when I put six ones and eight ones together I get a ten plus four ones and so when I have that ten plus four ones this ten is that one that we carried and this four is the four that we put down down at the bottom so that 14 is sitting right here this is 14 and one of them gets carried or actually just gets regrouped it gets exchanged we exchange 10 ones for one of those tens and we put it in the tens column uh, now we can go to our tens column and we can add 1 plus 2 plus 1. Well, it's the one that we, in essence, carried or regrouped and, or exchanged plus the two that were in the original uh, top part of our problem and then the one at the bottom. And we add them all together. Notice we don't make any tens. When you put four together, you can't make any you can't put 10 together and exchange it for a flat so you're set with just 4 and we write that 4 down here and then we have the 4 flats let me erase that we have our 4 flats plus the 2 flats down at the bottom and we add them all together and we get 6 so 644 is how we would add those numbers uh, doing a flip of that if you will not so much a flip but let's take 426 and let us subtract 218 uh, so we're gonna have our 400 two three four hundred twenty and then let's add our six one two 
three, four, five, six. I'm going to take and break that down. And of course, some of those we're going to get rid of. Alright, so we got our 218 down below. Is that right? 218? Yeah. So we have 426, and now what we want to do is we want to subtract. And one visual clue, cue, I guess, for our young students is we could turn all these red. And so now what we have is we have 426 minus 218. That means we are removing, we are taking away 218 from 426. So we have our 426, and we need to remove 218. And when we start with the ones place, I have six ones right up here, and I need to remove eight of them. Now, one way to model this is can I take eight away from these six ones? And the question, can I take eight away from six? And I can't take eight away from these six. I don't have enough. We want to avoid saying things like, you cannot subtract 8 from 6. You can subtract 8 from 6. You get a negative number, and later on in mathematics, like in our middle school, we're going to start dealing with those negative numbers and extend that into high school and into college. And so we as elementary teachers don't need to say, we can't take 8 from 6. We need to say, we, we don't have enough to take 8 away from 6. We don't have enough. And one way to say enough is we need to pair them up. For every red one, we need to pair with a yellow one. And because when a positive and a negative get together, they cancel each other out. And so every time this red comes and it will be taking away that, that six there, or the six is taking away uh, eight, we, we have two red units down here that we need to get rid of, that we need to have enough to get rid of, and we can't pair them up with anything. So we need to go in and exchange one of these longs to make more units so that we can pair up with these red units waiting to be paired up. This is where we borrow. This idea when we are growing up and learning the procedure that says, you know, if you don't have enough, you go next door, you borrow some sugar or, or whatever it is that you use to help your students learn. We need to avoid saying things like borrowing and 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 we don't have enough, so we got to go next door and get more and and all these things. We are actually exchanging. We are regrouping. We are we are taking a 10 that was in our tens column. And so instead of having two tens, we're going to have one ten, and when we bring it over here, when we exchange it for a unit, a smaller unit of measure, it breaks apart and it becomes ten of these units here. So that's this idea of dropping that one. A lot of teachers tell our students to drop that one. Of course, when I was growing up, we did this. We, wrote, we crossed it out and wrote sixteen above it. However you want to teach that, procedure is fine but the idea is that we did we had six and then when we exchanged a ten we now have sixteen we have sixteen ones and now we have those sixteen ones and they pair up with these eight red ones down at the bottom let me move this out of the way come on there we go and once they pair up this is being crazy all right, so anyway, once they pair up, they go away. They become zero. They pair up and they disappear. So a positive and negative pair up and they disappear. And we do the same thing with our longs. That positive and that negative, they pair up and then they disappear. This positive and this negative are going to pair up and then they go to zero. This positive and this negative, they pair up and they go to zero and we're left with two hundred and eight and when we finish our subtraction sixteen minus eight is eight 
1 minus 1 is 0, 4 minus 2 is 2, so 208. So this is how you can use an app in base 10 blocks to help model subtraction, to help model addition, and to help really focus in on the mathematical language that we want students to understand that they're exchanging, they're regrouping, they are, they are um, I guess, yeah, exchanging, regrouping, and avoid, if we can, or minimize the language of carrying and borrowing. Or when we say carry and when we say borrow, we want to emphasize the conceptual that is behind that language. So uh, thank you for watching. This is PyPad Mathematics, and I am Professor Lamb.